Yosung's energy like is bothering me now because I don't understand how I'm supposed to use that or why it's there. Flower said it's important. I don't know why. <laughs> oh yeah, and then you guys told me I told you guys song was my favorite, and all you guys said how come I didn't get on over not getting a, a, his photo card. Um, I don't really need to read his energy. His energy is like a nice, peaceful, quiet energy. Like I don't need his energy to like read, read. I, I don't think I've seen him in my sleep either. So I'm just a great energy, you know, because he's like he doesn't bother nobody. <sighs> oh yeah, and then when I was watching, I forgot to say when I was watching the the gorilla video. My favorite part is like when Song was doing the. Hold on, this. Uh, let me open it up. That one. Uh, the, he looks like he's getting electrocuted in the song. Like that's my favorite part of the thing. And then. Uh, and then as I'm watching. Um. As I was watching the, cause I put in the eighties playlist like the, cause you know how they um on Weekly Idol they put when they all dance individually, um. Sans has got the most um views. Interestingly enough. Okay, let me open up this video. Let me skip this. Oh, too far, too far. Oops. Yeah, right there, right there. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Did I miss it? Oh yeah, right there. Fuck, I'm so... Right there. He looks like he's getting electrocuted right there. I don't know. With all the, like, the, the lightning and things and... Oh, God. <clears throat> and then there's the... Yeah, Link just got the the van scene because I said another right, and I forgot to show you guys. Right there, I see. Like, why why are there so many van scenes? <clears throat> there are better shots on chairs. This song's so top tier. The whole album's a no skip, right? Oh man. Anyways. I gotta hurry, the light's going down now. I think like 8 or 9. It's 8 18 right now. In like another like 20 minutes um i run out of daylight and i gotta hurry i can't film at night anymore because tones is with me now right um okay um this feels really weird because all you guys can hear me now like i said i was gonna talk shit about ian and not i didn't know he would hear me fuck Oh shit, I like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I want to take back anything I said. Because last time I said he put, what did he put? He put 10 to 20 minutes, then I get a day to, okay, but, okay, I missed the first two. <laughs> I missed the first two. 
my last request. Give me at least a week's heads up. And then if I miss that one again, I'm gonna give up, okay? I gotta make at least one live. Ugh. The energy here is interesting. Oh, he proved my point too. Hold on. He posted this on Instagram. Because remember, I told you guys, it was like, it had to be 4 in the morning. He put... God, can you read this? He put 4 in the morning. Hey, look. He put 4 in the morning there. Can you guys read this? <laughs> I was right. I was right. Oh my gosh. Yo, his neighbors must be so chill. I'm around so many batshit crazy motherfucking people, like, <laughs> I'm going fucking mental. <laughs> this is what he does when people are sleeping. <laughs> ah, he proved my point though, oh my gosh. I can't wait to see this man live. <laughs> Yo, I'm so tempted to comment on this post, but I, I like I'm, I don't think my heart could take it if he like responded back because he responds back to a lot of these comments and I'm like, oh man, it's just sometimes I just want to throw my phone across the room because I don't want. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, let's read through what people. There's like nine thousand comments. Missing it again. Okay, a week from now. Today's Friday. Well, like, not another Friday. Oh, by the time you guys see this, it'll probably be Saturday. Okay, let's say. Hold on, I'm gonna count it. I don't know if he's gonna go live again. I got lucky that he got li he went live twice and I fucking missed it. Okay, let's say let's say he goes live on the fourteenth. Okay, fourteenth, nine o'clock was a good time and I fucking missed it because I'm stupid. But anyways, let's say let's say August fourteenth. In the evening. Okay, if I miss that one, then it's that's on me. <laughs> I fucking missed it. I can't believe he heard me like holy shit oh no I said so much shit <clears throat> I saw him in my sleep a couple of times and I didn't think it wasn't it wasn't anything important and then this happened and like now like I can't tell you times, right? Like, because <clears throat> everything looks the same. But I can tell you, first room I had, I'm in this building. I can't tell, like, it feels like an amalgamation of, like, a uni and, like, a news 
office type of a building, right? Because, like, there's staircases that go everywhere. And then on all floor, on all the floors, there's, like, different things. And there's a whole bunch of set of rooms. <clears throat> I don't know where the hell this is. There's a hell ton of people here. Like, if everybody was to leave at the same, like, evacuate the building, there's a whole, whole bunch of people, right? So like I'm in this building. I don't I think the I don't remember if the elevator was broken or whatnot because I'm getting off from like a higher up floor, right? And so I take the stairs to come down. I remember the base of the staircase. Like this is this wide, wide staircase at the bottom, but it's so narrow when you go higher and higher up to the top. I get to the base of the staircase. And I get, like, I go out the door. No, but, like, this building's really strange. I go out, like, because for me, when I go anywhere, I make sure to, like, know where everything is. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm in a strange place, like, I know where all the doors are, where to be at what times, right? Like, I told you guys I avoid, like, <clears throat> um, crowded places. Because I don't want to read all the energy at once. It's so fucking draining. Because um, I can't control nothing, right? So. I remember the back part of this building. Like, the place is like a... F fuck, like... If I went around the base of it... There's like... I remember another door in the hall. I remember like a back entrance. But it's not like deserted, like it's it's frequently used. Anyways, so I remember that like, I keep seeing I saw that building twice now, but I remember the second time it was the outside part of the building. But anyways, this first time I see this this I had this dream. I'm coming down the stairs because I remember the wideness of the staircase, right? Because, uh, I, you know, <laughs> I, like, everybody always, when I go down the stairs with anybody, they always tend to trip. So I always tend to hold the railing. And then if someone was to fall, I always grab for whoever's going to trip. Like, my friend always, like, <laughs> she always, like, tends to trip down the stairs. So, I, like, for me, it's, like, a natural, like, instinct to grab whoever's going to, like, trip for whatever reason. I don't know why. But I remember in this dream, like, the, because of how wide the stairs was, I didn't grab onto no railing, and I didn't, I don't think I really knew anybody. So I'm just walking frequently down this, these stairs, right? Like, like I own the fucking place. Um, I go down the stairs, there's a, a few people leaving, I don't know, like, it feels like, like, if the clock just struck a certain time, like, it's like someone's shift just ended and a whole bunch of people just leave, so that's how it feels. Um... So I go out the door. I don't know what time it is. It feels like 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Because it's still bright. It feels like a time where you, you... It's like in between going home and like going somewhere else, you know? So... <clears throat> as I like walk out... I'm about to... I don't know if I, I... Yeah, I think I just walk out the doors. And I remember seeing Ian right there. I don't remember what, or I don't remember if I was coming down the stairs and I saw him. But I saw him somewhere in between me coming down the stairs and going through that door. I remember seeing him. And I don't remember what, what the conversation was. He was talking to me, but I remember at the end, because I was leaving to go, I don't know where next, right? Because I don't know where the heck I am in the first place, but I remember <clears throat> I'm, like, being in this building so often. And then heading, I don't know where. But anyways, I remember the outside. There's grass sidewalk the road's not busy like if I want to like quickly run across the road I could but anyways we were talking I remember he was saying something I don't remember because I had this dream so long ago and I didn't think it was important and now it's fucking relevant now <clears throat> so yeah he was saying something and then I, all I remember was he said he was headed this way, right? I think I was supposed to go that way, but like, 
I remember there was a, a bus shed here. Because I remember the son hitting the, the plasticky looking glass, right? And I remember him going that way. And I remember he was going that way and I didn't want to tell him I had to go that way too. So I remember I, ha I had to go, I went the other way, right? Because I, like, I don't know what we were saying, but it felt awkward that it, like, once the conversation ended to go the same direction he was going in. So I went in the other direction. I don't know, to kill time or whatever. I felt like I was just, like, loitering around. Um, yeah, and then the dream ended. Which is really weird. That was the first one. Because I didn't think it was anything at the time, right? Like, now, like, I'm looking back now. And I was like, why do I fucking remember this now? Um, that was the first time. Second time now. I can't tell you how long in between. Because I didn't document any of these things, right? Because, fuck. <clears throat> Second time now. Is the back part of this building. Um... Again, it's like roughly like the same time or maybe like an hour earlier because I feel like not as many people are going through this this hallway toward this back door, right? So I was with somebody else. I remember I was talking to a woman, right? And I was talking to her. She was saying something. I don't know what the hell was going on. But we... um. She said she because she didn't want me waiting by myself because I was I went outside the door. Ian said he would meet me there, so I was waiting there for him, right? She said because it it she didn't want to leave me there alone, so she said she'd stay there with me and talk with me until he shows up. Um, I don't remember what we were talking about. I just remember it felt like really really mundane things. Um. I don't remember if she was telling me to stay away from him away from him or like not to hang around him so much. Fuck, it got really dark. <laughs> not what I'm saying. I mean the the coloring of the let me turn this on. Okay, much better. Fuck, I'm running out of daylight. Okay, anyways, yeah, I don't remember if she was telling me to stay away from him or something. Uh, don't spend so much time she was telling me something and I remember getting a, a little heated talking to her right I was like uh, I, was I was telling her like I know him better than anyone else right I don't know why the fuck that happened but I remember telling her that I was like I know him better than you do don't tell me how I should act or like I was getting a little heated right um, as I'm talking to her and then he finally shows up Right? I was like, what the fuck? Like, I don't, I don't understand what I'm seeing, right? Like, it's like I'm watching something that already happened, right? So he shows up. <sighs> oh, dear God. I can't believe I'm saying these things out loud. I feel like, I feel like I'm going fucking mental. Anyways, he shows up. She's like dead ass, like looking, eyeing him up and down and looking at me, giving me the dirtiest look. Like, like a disapproving look, right? She's like, Lisa, why? Um, so I fucking ignored her. And he said something. I don't know if he said waiting long like, like or something, right? Or like, I don't remember. I don't remember because I didn't think it was important. If it was important, I would... <laughs> anyway, so I leave, we leave her behind. And... I don't remember. If, I don't remember how we got from that point to the next point. Like I don't remember if we walked or we drove or what. I don't remember how we got from point A to point B. Okay, but I remember. <laughs> um. Cause I told him I want to hang and see him, right? And then he asked me if I finished everything I had to do. Cause he said I can hang with him after I finish everything I need to do. He says more important to. F deal with what I'm doing first, deal with what I'm doing, English, fuck. Like for example, let's say, like I'm studying to go take the driver's test, right? You would tell me go and focus on that before I go hang with him, right? 
I don't remember what uh, what he was telling me to go do first, but I remember him saying that. And then I told, but it feels like it's not the first time he's telling me this. He told me not to hang so much with him if I don't finish what I'm doing first. Like, I feel like every time I have to finish stuff, it's like just in time. Um... And I think when he's telling me, when, as he's telling me this, I was telling him, um, I didn't finish what I did. Like, I want to take a break. Like, I didn't finish what I had to do, but I want to take a break and chill with you for a minute, okay? I remember, I remember that part. And then, um, he said, okay. And then I don't remember what happened after. Next thing I know, we're eating cotton candy. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, I, I just go about my day, and then I just have these weird dreams. I don't know why certain things happen like this, okay? And I can't tell anybody, because if I tell people, they're going to think I'm fucking crazy. So... This video got really eerie. I look like I'm in a horror. <laughs> Fuck, okay. Yeah, I remember that part of the conversation. And then I remember eating cotton candy. And then, like, it went, like, the this dream I had with him in it, like, it went from being a dream to a fucking nightmare, okay? So I'm you're trying to get to that part. It started off good, and then, it, oh my god, everything went to hell. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I remember I spent time with him. I was so happy. He promised we would meet up the next day to do something or not the next day it felt like it was a friday and then we'd meet back up on monday right like it felt like a a few days had to go by um yeah so i remember i, I had a good time with him we talking about things or maybe i talk more and he was listening more because i don't feel like he was talking much um, but he, we, uh, like, I think we promised that we'd meet again on, like, a Monday, right? Because it felt like a few days. We meet again, like, a couple days later, right? Okay, so fast forward now, right? Because, like, for me, the dream was happy there. I got to spend time with him. I was happy. I was like, okay, this isn't something, like, in my head, I was just like, oh, it's just a dream, right? Like, <coughs> so... <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, like, it was going well, and then, like, it was dark, I remember, like, we're eating cat and candy, and it's, like, dark, like, I remember the, there's no light in the sky, but, like, I could still see what's going on, like, how the, the lighting is now, <laughs> conveniently, yeah, I just remember, middle of the day and then it got nighttime everything was happy and good and then the fasting forward now in time point of time i get back to like I'm, it's like everything cycled back to like the same point now and i'm telling the same girl from the start of this this dream i was telling her no a couple days later early in the day I had like a sinking feeling in my stomach. Like something felt wrong. And so I was hearing all this shit from other people, right? <clears throat> all the other people around me, I'm hearing all kinds of shit. <clears throat> and then I get back to this girl, now we're back in the same spot again. Um, and I was telling her, because it's late now, okay? So uh, he promised to meet me back up. It's late now. This girl shows up and she's telling me um, that he wouldn't show up. And I get like this sinking feeling in my stomach. I was like, something's not right. Something's wrong because he would have let me know ahead of time if he was going to be late or something, right? And she told me, she was telling me, she, making her points again, how he's no good. Don't spend time with him, that kind of shit. But in my, like, in my, my gut feelings felt like something was wrong. I didn't know what was wrong. Um, because it felt like it was an hour later and he wasn't, he didn't show up yet. And I was like, oh my god. 
So after hearing all this shit, like, I hear the, the people around me talking shit about him, right? And so I was like, fuck them. They don't know him, right? Because I, I spent, I know how much time I spend with him, so I should know him well enough. So I'm, like, ignoring what they're saying. But as this girl's talking to me, like, I feel like it just felt like something was wrong, right? Like, I go from having, like, a happy dream to, like, a nightmare instantaneously because I was like, something's wrong. I don't know what's wrong. Something's wrong. He's late and this doesn't happen. Um, So she's still talking to me. I was like, okay, fuck her. I'm just gonna... Because I bolted. I just ran for it. Because I knew he would never be late. I don't know why. Like, in my, stu- in my like, gut feeling, I know he wouldn't be late. Um, So I knew something was wrong. As soon as she was saying, how, like... She was saying so much shit. I just ran from her because I was like, oh, shit. I don't want to hear what the fuck she's saying. I remember running. I can't... I was, like... Then I end up... I don't know where I ran to. I think I ran to somewhere I think he would be, right? It's like this... I'm in, like, another building. But I don't know if it's part of this building or, like, another, another building. But I ran. I end up in this, this next building... There's a staircase, but it's descending. Like, it's going downward. I was like, holy fucking shit. There's, like, two rooms or so on the side here. Yeah, there's one staircase going down, like, into, like, the ground. And then there was another staircase. I think there was another staircase going up. Like, I can't remember. They look so fucking similar. Two staircases and, like, two two or three rooms on the side here so when i i went through this entrance right the first thing you see is the stairs to go down these couple rooms and then you got to make your way around if you want to go up higher i think i don't remember there's a way to get up to the next staircase um so i walk through walk through this door there's some people in there, right? Um, Cause I think he would be there, right? And I tried to read his energy to find him. And at that moment, I panicked even more because at this point in time, like I couldn't read yet, right? Like me being able to read you guys' energy and see things isn't. I, I couldn't do that in a couple of... It took, it, it's a recently new lifetime thing, okay? So I panicked even more. I was like, oh, fuck. Even if I want to try and find him, I can't. Because I can't pick up nothing here. Think of it like... um Like I told you guys, for example, like Jungkook's energy is a... Like for me, it's like a sunny sunlight type of energy. Like imagine like I can't feel... Like if I couldn't find him, I can't I can't feel sunlight, warmth on my skin, bright light. Like I can't feel any of that, so I'm panicking, right? I was like, holy fucking shit. So yeah, I'm in this building. I stopped right at the in- entrance. I didn't go near the stairs or the door or anything. I just went in, went in this place, and I the first thing I <laughs> My first instinct was to read to see if he's anywhere nearby, like a like a metal detector trying to detect what where the fuck anything is, right? And I couldn't sense nothing. And then I realized, holy fuck, like I don't know if this is like a a past life type thing I'm seeing now, right? Because I was like, I couldn't read like in my current state, I couldn't read his energy. I was like, holy fuck, is she? Because I can read him now, right? But in this dream, I, I can't read him, and I'm like, holy fuck, it's like he's like off the map and I can't find him um so um so It's been an hour and I'm struggling to explain this. Yeah, I'm trying to read. I'm talking to a few people. Yeah, and then when I can, when I couldn't feel him anywhere, there was a few people nearby. So I asked them if they knew where he was. 
because I don't fucking know if they know him or where the fuck. Because there's, I don't know why there were people there. Okay, I decided to just ask them. Um, or I don't remember if I went up or down one of the stairs first. I think I went. Yeah, I think I asked one of them, and then I ended up going up the stairs. Nothing was there. And then as I was coming back around, like, by these doors, I can hear his his voice, but I don't know if it's actually coming from him. And then, I don't remember, something scary happened. And somehow I ended up down in the staircase that was going down, like, downward. There's not, like, it, it's, it's, when you go down those stairs, there's only one way back up, which is that way. Right? There's no alternative exit. So if something's blocking that way, I can't get through. Um, the worst part is though when I, when I was asking people around about him I can't read so I can't tell if what they're saying is true or not you know what I mean like there's some people they'll say shit but they don't mean it and I can feel that now but like back then I couldn't tell if someone was like Like, being honest or not. So that made me feel more uneasy, right? I feel more unsettled. Like, oh my god, like... Uh, yeah, I just remember feeling panicked because I, like, I couldn't find him. I remember hearing his voice, but I couldn't find him. And then somehow I ended up in that bottom staircase. I couldn't... I tried to get back up to get out of this building because something's wrong here. And then I woke up. The people around me were nice, like when I asked them about him, but like, I didn't know if I could trust them or not because I can't read their energy. So that was the second dream. Again, I didn't think it was anything important, right? And so that happened. Like, I feel like, I don't understand why I feel like I know him. And then I can't tell you guys about the, the I just had a dream the other day. About this man again. But now it feels like a futuristic dream. Now. Like I feel like it's something that hasn't happened yet. But that might happen. It depends on what I end up doing now. But anyways yeah. That's my two cents of what I've been seeing. I don't know why it's important now. It just feels weird. Like I feel that icky feeling of like. Because like. I don't know, like, I feel one moment he was there, next moment he wasn't. You know what I mean? And that, that feeling of, like, abandonment, like, suddenly disappearing into thin air is causing me unease. So, like, now seeing this, right, like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this now. I can't believe he's uh, four in the fucking morning. Oh my god.